The merchant is there. Greetings. I hope your day will be better than mine. Green blood. Do you need something? I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? <laughs> I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And these memories I hold dear. You've always been extraordinary, Greenblood. But I had to watch over you. You were my responsibility. That didn't leave us much time for friendship. What about now? Now? Well, I hope that we'll have more time. Anything else? I must leave you. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Oh. Children, we've been best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking, maybe clandestine passengers? Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you? Why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Nothing to bother yourself about. I'm just curious. You wouldn't, by the sheerest of coincidences, be on the trail of a couple of heretics, Your Excellency. The same a couple of the ambassadors of Teleme's men have been looking for nigh on two days. And so you know about that? Of course. The Cardinal's henchmen are hard to miss, even in a crowd. And they were making quite a fuss. Hoping we would cave in and help them in their hunt. Feel free to carry out your own investigation, but you'll end up with the same answers. The port brigs, just like the warehouses, are property of the Nords. No one else may enter. You haven't heard anything about my cousin, by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. 
That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a Captain Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. <laughs>